Good morning children. Today we are going to do our sensorial activities. Last time I told you about geometric solids. Remember the shapes I told you? The cube, cone. Remember it? Cube, cone and cylinder. We will see some more examples. Maybe we can just revise. Okay? Did you go look around your house? Find out anything which is cube shaped? Did you find a dice? Did you find it? The dice that you use for playing Ludo or snake and ladder. A cube like pink tar or some gift boxes, tiny or big, big uh, gift boxes which are cube shaped. Okay, good. If you do see, let me know when you come in person what else you have seen cube shaped. Okay, then we saw cone. For cone, I told you there is party cap. Then your ice cream cone, this is the cone, right? The cone. So, even maybe the tip or the roof of a hut can also be cone shaped. Or sometime in a castle also you will see the roof of the castle will be cone shaped. Then we were using the funnel, is it not? The funnel in the school, that is also cone shaped. What else was cone shaped? Did you check? I am sure in your toys there will be lot of things which are cone shaped. Okay. Find it out. Next shape that we saw was cylinder. This one. The cylinder. I told you like a tumbler. Like how you have the tumbler. See the cylinder goes right into it. The tumbler that you use for drinking. Cylinder. Or maybe sometimes it may be a flower vase like this, a pen stand. The kitchen, the kitchen, did you look out for the cylinder with a big red cylinder? It will be as big as you. Cylinder, very dangerous but it will, it's called a cylinder. So that's the shape of cylinder. A lot of things, even the pencil or the marker that you use is cylinder shape. If you take the pencil, the tip of the cylinder, I mean the tip of this uh, pencil will be like a cone. Is it not? It's like a cone. Good. So, these were the shapes that we saw last time. Cube. Cone. And cylinder. Let's take one quick look at it or at its surfaces. I've put the cube on a square. Okay. A square wooden piece. The shape you know very well. It's a square. And your cube. However I turn it. It is going to sit on the square. See. Any way I turn. It sits neatly on the square. So that's a cube. Now let's see the cone. The cone has a circle on this side on one side a circle it can sit like this and this is the only side it can sit if I try, try to make it stay like this it's going to fall off and if I am going to let it roll it's going to make a perfect circle see see that it makes a perfect circle so that's a cone now let's see the cylinder. The cylinder has a circle just like a cone but the other side is also a circle. Do you see that? So it can sit like this cylinder and like this cylinder. What happens if I put it on this edge? It will only roll back and forth. You see only back and forth. Okay, so that is your cylinder. Next we are going to see a cuboid. Okay, a cuboid. When you see it looks like a cube but it is a little different. Shall we find out what is different about it? Come. I have a square and I told you when I put the cube I can turn it anyway it will still sit perfectly on it but 
for a cuboid only two sides will sit this side and right on top the other sides are longer did you see it is not going to sit on it perfectly see none of the sides will sit what side do you see here what what shape is it you see a rectangle a rectangle see so it has a rectangle side and it has a square face also see square and rectangle so when you see a shape like this we say cuboid cuboid where have you seen cuboid shapes boxes boxes like this all of it will be cuboid shape see you might have a rectangle side on one side on this side and that side there will be a square side now if you take the brown stairs at school do you see that it has got a rectangle side and a square side okay square and rectangle so you call it a cuboid it can be even as thin as this see there is a square side and it has got a rectangle side cuboid will you go around your house and find out more cuboids yeah now we'll go to the next shape the next shape that you are going to see is sphere repeat sphere this is a sphere what does it remind you of it reminds you of a ball see it is not able to sit in a place it's not like the cube or the cuboid or the cone it is just not able to sit it keeps rolling because it doesn't have a flat side so it keeps it's always curved so it doesn't have a stable surface to sit so it keeps moving see it is it keeps moving you might say that it looks like a circle the, let's try and see if it is a circle it's got a circle side no clearly the uh, sphere is telling i am not a circle see it is running away i am not a circle i am a sphere what is this sphere now where have you seen spheres like this i'm having one in my hand what is it it's a ball a ball it's a perfect sphere where else have you seen it maybe in the lemons the lemons are sphere shaped and the oranges are also uh, sphere shaped laddus yeah laddus we all like laddu right sphere shape then lollipops yeah the head of the lollipop that is sphere shaped and then you would have seen this in the school right the globe the globe is also sphere shaped anything else that you have seen sphere shaped some of you might feel your head and say that my head is like a sphere yeah some people's head will be like a sphere you can touch and see whether it feels like a sphere okay so things like a ball lemon laddu all that is called a sphere you also look around there could be some fruits some seeds some seeds inside the fruit they'll all be sphere shaped will you check it out okay next we will see the next shape which is called as a triangular prism triangular prism when i say triangular prism definitely there has to be a triangle can you see this yes you see one triangle shape right on top and there is one triangle shape right below also this side and this side so it will sit like this triangular prism both sides but how about the other sides no but i do see a sh uh, shape here what shape is this rectangle shall we confirm it and see if it's a rectangle come there it sits neatly on the rectangle 
rectangle turn it rectangle turn it rectangle rectangle so it has a triangle and a rectangle this is called as a triangular prism triangular prism let's look some examples of triangular prism for triangular prism i have here a bottle can you see this side it's a triangle and this side is also a triangle and the other sides are rectangles so you might find jars like this or bottles like this which are like triangular prism what's this yes cake now if i am going to take out a piece from it what do you see here you see triangle here also you see the triangle but let's see what do you see here the rectangle of the triangular prism okay and this side you will see the triangle so you call this also a triangular prism you would have seen sometimes some boxes also which are triangular prism like like there's a chocolate like top uh, named toblerone if you see that the wrapper of it the cover of that uh, toblerone chocolate will be like a triangular prism sometimes the uh, uh, aluminum foils or the cling wraps the boxes may be sometimes it will be cuboid sometimes it will be triangular prism there are some pencil packs also you you be buying pencils so there are some pencil packs which comes in triangular prism like okay so a lot of things like that how about thinking of it like a tent you like to go inside a tent and sit and read stories doesn't the tent look like a triangular prism yes it looks like a tent or maybe if you're going to see it like a roof of a house also you will find the triangular prism is it not the triangular prism on the roof of the house or simply the tent okay when you go for camping you can use the tent or simply at home make a tent with mummy saree or dupatta and you will find there is a triangular prism from that okay so these are the shapes that we learned today one is cuboid say with me cuboid the other one is a sphere like the laddu and then the triangular prism shall we see once more up close first one is the cuboid which can sit on the square and the rectangle cuboid and the next one is the triangular prism which can sit on the triangle and the rectangle triangle and rectangle triangular prism and then the sphere which will not sit on anything because it has curved edges cuboid triangular prism and sphere now you can to for you to remember the shapes you can do a scrapbook activity of collecting pictures of things which are like a cuboid or like a triangular prism a sphere cube cone and cylinder if you have already finished doing the cone cylinder and cube move the move to the next three and do it okay will you all try it let's see when you come for book submission i need to see how many of you have done the geometric solids okay see you all in another video bye bye